<laughs> we can quickly talk this. about Rio and Copenhagen games, and then we'll shut it down. Uh, didn't get any interesting questions. Oh, we coming won't, through we on won't get shut down. You mean? <laughs> yeah, it's probably ah. the case as well. Uh, okay, so <laughs> let's start with uh, Copenhagen games. Another team, I believe it was Heroic, have, has pulled out. So Optic pulled out, Heroic pulled out, and now they're left with basically nothing. I think fours are there. Um, who else is there? I was having a look just before. Is it oh, Tricked? Tricked, Epsilon, Tricked Epsilon, Epsilon. Epsilon. Fours. So, it's so, easy event for fours, yeah. boys. Easy event for Jerry. Do we expect fours Jerry. to be that good, as, good, as good offline as they're online? I don't know. Oh, and Sprout no, are there. No. So maybe that we could have talked a bit more of these two teams who were at the, at the Belgium event. Um, the thing is, I haven't seen yeah. enough of them, but yeah. Yeah, it's just this is, this is now getting into the realms of... Uh, I don't. I, this is teams and individuals who I don't know. I don't know where to put them anymore. Tricked is a feeder team. Sprout don't feel like a feeder team to big by any means. Um, I think maybe Sirison, Sir, Sirison. I yeah. don't know if I'm saying that right. I think that him as a AWP player, he he looks okay uh, with some of the games I've watched. I haven't watched an awful lot of his. Epsilon Keto for a while was having some crazy games to see us, but every time I tune into one of their matches. I watched them against uh, Windigo the other day. That uh, Brokey guy was, is it Brokey or Borky? Brokey. Bro- 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 Brokey. He was like fucking doing some shit that was good. I don't know. Like they're teams that I, I can't place them. You know, they're not, they're not of any, they're not, they're not noteworthy. They don't have like an individual that stands out to keep them above. Like there's nothing exciting, unfortunately. Look, this, is, this has turned from like a tier two event to like a tier three event, basically. Like without the type, the yeah. likes of, of heroic yeah. and 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 well, hero, even there are heroic no are like top twenty, no top twenty teams invited. Uh, yeah, not Tricked anymore. is there to be like the Danish team. They're actually number thirty eight now, so that's probably like their peak. Uh, of recent. Boards are number thirty now. Yeah, it's just like a borderline top thirty event. And obviously, for so the, qual- the qualifier, they're not very interesting... many great teams. Yeah, interesting event for these teams. At the same time, I'm like. There are people, obviously, that follow the tier 2 and 3 more than me, like any of us do, and they could probably give us more details about, like, these are also interesting teams. They have their own styles, players that stand out on their level, but just, like, nothing that, like, reaching into the, into the top 15, really, at least not for now. Maybe Sprout finish second at the Charleroi thing. Maybe if they win this, then we can see them starting to build. Maybe they can contest for contest big because big isn't looking that hot recently maybe that's a thing that we can see starting from this event and there's obviously the byoc part which then feeds four teams into this event so four more teams will be joining the teams we have here in the in the main part and someone always pops up and someone makes a name for themselves at uh, at copenhagen games like last year it was the imperial guys right they won yeah I'm not sure if they came. They came from the qualifier, I think. So maybe they didn't. I'm not sure. Uh, the year before it was the ANJ and the Danish, uh, I think, Larity team, actually. Yeah. So they, they kind of made, made a name for themselves. So I think it's, it's a cool event to kind of keep track of, but not really. It's not going to change anything in the, in the top, top scene. Sure. Yep. All right. Much. Well, the most exciting part about Rio. Uh, we already touched on Vertigo. this a little bit, is the fact that Vertigo is going to get played. So with all the teams there, now we know that uh, who's fucking taken their spot. Who took Furious' spot? Uh, not Furious' spot. Who took Luminosity's spot? INTZ. That's the one. Uh, tip of my tongue. Apparently they're meant to be, they want it to be pronounced INTS. INTS. Yes. Yeah. There's like, like, they ask us to do these things, and then you sit there and you go... Fuck, I, I, I'm not going to do that. It's like MIBR <laughs> didn't want us to refer to them as made in Brazil for a while there because they didn't have five Brazilians. And I was like, "You, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> so that's literally, that's literally your name. <laughs> that's the team name. What do you mean? They actually what, asked you to do that? What, what the fuck? It's fucking wild. Anyway, um, this event, the most exciting thing about it, I think, yeah, obviously Vertigo has to be number one. Um, and Fury is still going fills me with a bit of hope that we might see it come out with some cool strategies earlier. What do you, what do you guys think about this one, this event as a whole? I definitely think Furia could be the one to pick up Vertigo early on. They just seem like the yeah. type, you know. I could definitely see that happening. Uh, outside of that, actually, I'm not sure which, which one of these teams would be up for 
uh, for Vertigo. Like I'm just maybe? trying to. I'm trying to think about the map tools these teams have. I just don't have it like um, in my mind completely. Because obviously we don't played. we don't see these events uh, we don't see this these teams on a regular basis. I'm pretty sure Argo played a Vertigo. Let's see. Yeah, they played one. But w but they got smashed on it, I think. Yeah, but I mean, even them playing it will will just like make other teams who didn't play it uh, veto it against them. So that that helps, I guess. It would be so disappointing if no one actually played Vertigo. At, I mean, I wouldn't yeah, be let's surprised. Let's say Furia wants I to play it. If no one else wants to play it, 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 it won't be played. Like, people just veto it all the time. Uh, yeah. Hope that's not the case, though. I hope that I, that's not the I case. I think when you look at the names here, just for those who might not be familiar, Group A has Avangar, United, Furia, and INTZ. And Group B has Ago, Sharks, Valiance, and W7M. Uh, so the names that stick out to, to me off the bat are Avangar, Furia, E United. Um, and then in Group Valiance. B, Ago and Valiance, right? Yeah. So there's actually some, some decent names here in terms of a competitive nature sharks w7m and uh, intz are you know they have skilled individuals they have players that can get it done but they're, they're just not cohesive as units compared to the other teams there i think there's quite a stark contrast between them and, and the others be cool to see valiance back at it again uh, i think that they're uh, an exciting prospect of a team hunter esperanto those kind of guys uh, for me i actually think that group a is is quite stacked uh, compared to group b really when you look when you look at these yeah. two so it's a little bit unfortunate that not all three of avant-garde united and furia will be able to make it through uh ago they were in the grand final of wsg against windigo not long ago and it's been a long time since we've seen valiance in an offline environment right so cool little storylines for teams budding for constant positions within the top 20 here i would say yeah, I mean that's yeah. that's kind of what Dreamac opens have 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 become. But I mean that's not recent, even recent development. It's been a been a, uh, in that case for a while that we always have these like borderline borderline top twenty between top twenty to top thirty teams most of the time. Some of them below, obviously, like we see with uh, uh, with like the likes of W Seven M and then teams like that. It's, this event that particularly is is fairly low on that spectrum. But just in general, yeah, like you say, we, we've got a bunch of teams that we can actually be can, kind of excited about and potentially see as, as teams that could make the move up um, in the next couple of months. And even off, on the back of like a success at a DreamHack Open, that's what these events now are. All righty. Yeah. Well, I don't have uh, anything to add. I think we... I was going to say it's went... quarter to 11, right? CEST right now. Jesus. So we've managed to, to talk a leg off a chair or two in that, uh, in that time frame. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls who have joined us, there was a couple of questions that came through, but we've run over by 45 minutes here. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to shut this one down. The next one will be on Monday the 20th, I believe. Is it the 20th, Monday? 22nd. 22nd, Easter Monday. If you oh, are okay. Okay, yeah, so Easter we'll... celebrating on that date kind of a guy. We should, we should have a podcast uh, going on then and maybe one towards the end of that week as well before Sydney. Uh, people traveling to Sydney are going to have a couple of issues to do with time zone-wise. So we'll try and get up one uh, early next week and maybe one towards the end of next week. Um, so you can also get the podcast audio at anchor.fm slash HLTV. It's just, it's just HLTV, right? Yes. Just HLTV. Yeah. Head over there, you can get it everywhere, fucking Google, Spotify, iTunes, all that fucking nonsense. Uh, we'll upload this as soon as we can. And thank you for joining us. We've confirmed some shit tonight. Goodbye.